Tablet XII, the law of cause and effect the key of privacy. List ye, O man, to the words of my wisdom, list to the voice of Teth, the Atlantean. Conquered have by the law of time-space, knowledge have by gained of the future of time. Know I that man in his movement through space-time shall ever be one with the all know ye, O man, that all of the future is an open book to him who can read. All effect shall bring forth its causes as all effect grew from the first cause. Know ye the future is not fixed or stable but bears as cause brings forth an effect. Look in the cause thou shalt bring into being, and surely thou shalt see that all is effect. So, O man, be sure the effects that ye bring forth are ever causes of more perfect effects. Know ye the future is never in fixation but follows man's free will as it moves through the movements of time space toward the goal where a new time begins. Man can only read the future through the causes that bring the effects. Seek ye within the causation and surely ye shall find the effects. List ye, O man, while I speak of the future, speak of the effect that follows the cause. Know ye that man in his journey lightward is ever seeking escape from the night that surrounds him, like the shadows that surround the stars in the sky and like the stars in the sky space, he, too, shall shine from the shadows of night. Ever his destiny shall let him onward until he is one with the light. I, though his way lies midst the shadows, ever before him glows the great light. Dark though the way be yet shall he conquer the shadows that flow around him like night. Far in the future, I see man as light born, free from the darkness that fetters the soul, living in light without the bounds of the darkness to cover the light that is light of their soul. Know ye, O man, before ye attain this that many the dark shadows shall fall in your light striving to quench with the shadows of darkness the light of the soul that strives to be free. Great is the struggle between light and darkness, age old and yet ever new. Yet, knowing at time, far in the future, light shall be all and darkness shall fall. List ye, O man, to my words of wisdom. Prepare and ye shall not bind your light. Man has risen and man has fallen as ever new waves of consciousness flow from the great abyss below us toward the sun of their goal. Ye, my children, have risen from a state that was little above the beast, until now of all men ye are greatest. Yet before thee were others greater than thee. Yet tell I thee as before thee others have fallen, so also shall ye come to an end. And upon the land where ye dwell now, barbarians shall dwell and turn rise to light. Forgotten shall be the ancient wisdom. Yet ever shall live though hidden from men. I, in the land thou chaosed chem, races shall rise and races shall fall. Forgotten shall thou be of the children of men. Yet thou shall have moved to a star space beyond this leaving behind this place where thou hast dwelt. The soul of man moves ever onward, bound not by any one star, but ever moving to the great goal before him where he is dissolved in the light of the all. Know ye that ye shall ever go onward, moved by the law of cause and effect until in the end both become one eye, man, after ye have gone, others shall move in the places ye lived. Knowledge and wisdom shall all be forgotten, and only a memory of God shall survive. As I to the am a God by my knowledge, so ye, too shall be gods of the future because of your knowledge far above theirs. Yet know ye that all through the ages, man shall have access to law when he will. Ages to come shall see revival of wisdom to those who shall inherit the odd place on this star. They shall, in turn, come into wisdom and learn to banish the darkness by light. Yet greatly must they strive through the ages to bring unto themselves the freedom of light. Then shall there come unto man a great warfare that shall make the earth tremble and shake in its course. Aye, then shall the dark brothers open the warfare between light and the night. One man again shall conquer the ocean and fly in the air on wings like the birds. When he has learned to harness the lightning, then shall the time of warfare begin. Great shall the battle betwixt the forces, great the warfare of darkness and light. Nation shall rise against nation, using the dark forces to shatter the earth. Weapons of force shall wipe out the earth man until half of the races of men shall be gone. Then shall come forth the sons of the morning and give their erect to the children of men, saying, O men, cease from the eye striving against the eye brother. Only thus can ye come to the light. Cease from the eye and belief, O my brother, and follow that path and know ye are right. Then shall men cease from their striving, brother against brother and father against son. Then shall the ancient home of my people rise from its place beneath the dark ocean waves. Then shall the age of light be unfolded with all men seeking the light of the goal. Then shall the brothers of light rule the people. Banished shall be the darkness of night. I, the children of men, shall progress onward and upward to the great goal. Children of light shall they become. Flame of the flame shall their souls ever be.
Knowledge and wisdom shall be man's in the great age for he shall approach the eternal flame, the source of all wisdom, the place of beginning, that is yet one with the end of all things. I, in a time that is yet barren, all shall be one and one shall be all. Man, a perfect flame of this cosmos, shall move forward to a place in the stars. I, shall move even from out of this space-time into another beyond the stars. Long have ye listened to me, O oh my children. Long have ye listened to the wisdom of death. Now I depart from ye into darkness. Now go I to the halls of Amenti, there to dwell in the future when light shall come again to man. Yet, know ye, my spirit shall ever be with thee, guiding thy feet in the pathway of light. Guard ye the secrets I leave with thee, and surely my spirit will guard thee through life. Keep thine eyes ever on the pathway to wisdom. Keep the light as thy goal evermore. Fetter not thy soul in bondage of darkness. Free let it wing in its flight to the stars. Now I depart thee to dwell in Amenti. Be thou my children in this life or the next. The time will come when ye, too, shall be deathless, living from age to age alight among men. Guard ye the entrance to the halls of Amenti. Guard ye the secrets I have hidden among ye. Let not the wisdom be cast to barbarians. Secret shall thou keep it for those who seek light. Now depart I. Receive thou my blessing. Take thou my way and follow the light. Plan of thy soul in the great essence. One, with the great light need thy consciousness be. Call thou on me when thou dost need me. Use my name three times in a row. Keket, Ehrlich, Will Mallets.